Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Call of Warhammer. We're playing as the Empire. I feel like it's been ages since I've come back and played this mod, but I've just been playing a shit ton of Fallout. Regardless, let's get into the campaign. Actually, you can go check out my Fallout campaign, Fallout Friday. I upload one hour video every Friday if I have the chance to record more. I do. So yeah, you can go check that out on my main channel if you're Curious, but we've got a lot of stuff to get stuck into into this campaign. So we've got a crusade we need to deal with, and we need to deal with the taking the region of Camperbad. So I think I'm going to deal with Camperbad first, right? So looking at our victory conditions, we need to currently control ten regions, including these specific settlements. We have all of them except for Camperbad. We currently control eleven regions at the moment. So we currently have Prince Otwin. Unfortunately, we did lose Rudolf and was it Kurt against the Battle of the Greenskins. Emperor Karl Franz does have a son, Jürgen Franz. Rico, uh, Fran uh, Rudolf Franz had a son called Rico. Prince Otwin has a son, Lawrence, and the daughter, in Gela, had a, a son, Engrol. <laughs> Interesting names. Carl Franz is up in the north. He managed to take these settlements from the beast uh, basement with quite ease. Just simple auto resolves. And we have our general at our main, uh, our prince at the uh, the capital. So, we do have 70,000 in the bank. I've been saving up to buy Kemper Bad. It's been pretty interesting, our victory conditions. I'm not entirely sure how long this campaign will go for. Probably 32 more turns. <laughs> But uh, we'll negotiate now. What I found out with the diplomacy in medieval, settlements are nearly worth more than money. I guess even though they're making a thousand, two thousand four hundred per turn, roughly. I guess obviously over the long stretch they're more valuable. But for the immediate future, we're going to be giving these two settlements to the to our allies and hopefully try to get Camperbad. So, let's negotiate. I will offer you these two settlements for Camperbad. Balanced. Okay. Um, I'll offer you map information. I'll also attack uh, the Midlands because they're being corrupted by chaos. I will also give you a payment. I will try 2,500 and see how. Oh, see how that. There we go. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Generous. So we'll offer. Happily accepted. Yes. So we've got our settlement. Perfect. The Midlands have been corrupted by chaos, so we can deal with that settlement. Now. So we finally have Camperbad. Holy shit, guys. <laughs> I'm pretty stoked about that. Now we can focus on the Crusade as well. We're just waiting for the game to load. But guys, if you are enjoying this Total War Call of Warhammer campaign, playing as the Empire, like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really much appreciate it. So we managed to spawn a couple of units here. I might even move my armies out of right guard just to defend it. It is on the corner of our Empire. Right, so... Yes... The Midlands have been corrupted by Chaos, so we're currently at war with them. Who else was corrupted? The Grand County of Weisland. The Grand Duchy of Middenheim. Ham, and the Midland. So these two territories here. So, we have been pushed out, obviously. So we're going to push our unit back. And what we're going to do is we're going to get Carl Franz to maybe try hit that. How are we... Yeah. Hmm. That territory, sorry, that army has rebelled. <coughs> Heard my voice going a little bit there. My apologies. Right. Um. Let's go to the crusade. Right. So there has been a crusade called at Castle Drachenhof, pretty far away, against the Slovene. 
Oh, actually, in saying that, they're not actually too far away. So what we're going to do is, within one more turn, we're going to be getting some ogres and some empire mortars. I might just wait. So I think we should push to this bridge position here. Maybe we can encourage the enemy into an attack. Mind you, or should we initiate it ourselves? They are broken up. They seem to be 7, 27, 69, quite weak. So they've got crossbowmen... How much infantry do they have? Not much. And then they've got their reinforcements. Do I have another unit somewhere? If I could... Um... Oh, shit. Yes, we can push a unit up there. What I want to do is I want to block the... Block the city by starting to siege, okay? Oh, didn't hit it. Um... We're going to have to sacrifice one of our own here. Probably one of my weaker ones, the 59 units of Halberdiers. Well, tr I want you to siege, right? So, that means we're blocking out that army from being a, a garrison, because we're sieging them. So what we're going to do now is, we're going to get this army, we're going to hit them hard and hit them here. We push them further back. Oh no! I want you to hit the unit behind. That cannot be done. Hmm. Well, we've lost our movement points because it fucking hit the city. I wanted to hit that army. I don't think I can even hit it now. Ah, oh, god damn it. Well, now what we're going to have to do is, I guess we're just going to have to siege it. We can actually attack. A night battle will eliminate that other force. That might be better for us. We have Empire Mortar, Empire Mortar. Huh. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Even though we are sort of being a little bit risky, seeing as we don't have any siege equipment. But I'm going to have to so simply focus on the gateway. Is bring down the gateway so I can have a way in, and then we'll just let our mortars completely bombard the settlement. Going to be interesting fighting someone else apart from Beastmen. We're going to be fighting some humans, which shall be interesting. But once we've finished with this, we will start our crusade. So, obviously it is a, a night battle here. So we're going to get our heavy infantry, okay? I'll put my halberdiers in the in the second line. I don't think we're going to need them just yet. Okay, War Altar of Sigma. We'll put it back with Karl Franz. Archers will push up. Uh, I might put them on skirmish. Uh, sorry, not skirmish mode. On a loose formation. They did have some crossbow units there. Push our mortars up, just out of the way of that tree. Alright, cavalry, just in case they charge out, we'll pop you just here. And I think that's pretty much it. I might put the War Altar of Sigma just a little bit further up. But let's start the battle. I want my artillery to fire at the gateway. If we can bring down the gate, I'll be happy. That's what we need to focus on first. Archers, make your aim loose. Fire arrows would look cool and light up, but obviously I do prefer normal arrows. They have less damage, but they're incredibly more accurate. So I was right that the enemy would charge out. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly... Our archers are actually taking the initiative and hitting them there. We'll push my mortars back because they're about to get heavily engaged. But they've actually missed my mortars. Get my archers to halt. We'll get Carl Franz to come in here as well. Get my archers to... I don't know. Fire at that unit. Pretty smart by the AI. Neutralise my only piece of siege equipment. These guys are pretty menacing as well. They've got some really nice wolf coats. But Carl Franz is here. He's ready to charge. And I think that will be pretty much the end of this unit. No more units are being pushed out. 
32%. Right, we need to reform my artillery. So pop you there. Get my archers to focus all their firepower on the nearest Star Destroyer. <laughs> no, focus on the nearest unit. I just had to say it the way I was saying that. But it looks like Carl Franz and the uh, the cavalry unit have hit their mark, stayed true. We've neutralized that cavalry unit, I think. There's only two left, yep. So we can reform not as much on an angle. The enemy general's dead. Stupid. Well, we're going to form them here just in case they try that bit of business again. Archers hit the foolish men coming out of the, the gateway. Reform up with my artillery because I want to get my shots off. But these guys are going to get absolutely rinsed. Just rinse and repeat, guys. Rinse and repeat. Archers. And they're not they're gonna break before they even engage me, I reckon. Maybe but they're gonna become pretty close. Alright. Artillery, have you been reformed back up? Yep, let's start bombarding the gateway again. Are they trying to waste my arrow fire or what are they trying to do? Genuinely, don't know. Alright, mortars. Get your bombardments off. At least we've broken down that piece of gateway. Not quite, but we will. 94%. We got 26% of the enemy. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to I want to get this piece of artillery to move up and try hit their their center, try hit their town square. I'm going to blast another opening. Well, to be honest, we've already got one. Op oh. Yeah, I want one more opening. If I can get one more opening here, I'll be happy. So at the moment, we're just letting my artillery go to town and go to work. I will start speeding it up. Tactically, nothing really more interesting. Just going to be trying to take them out slowly but surely and try and save as, as many lives as possible with the artillery strikes. Fifty percent for that piece of wall. We're not really doing too much damage there, so I'm gonna hold. I feel like we wasted a lot of bullets then. Just hitting the gateway directly. Oh, so we've broken that down. Let's continue just to bombard them in the town square. These mortars are so overpowered in just like smaller fort cities, like wooden cities. <clears throat> Get my archers to hit this unit here though. Still continuing the bombardment. Try hit their cavalry back there. We've killed 77% before we've even engaged them. This tactic just works so well. It's sort of a bitchy tactic, but we are using it to our advantage. These Empire Mortars, especially like so in the early game, are just so overpowered. I'm nearly better to fight them in a wooden city than to actually fight them on the field of battle. Because it sort of funnels them in to the artillery fire. But, it looks like we've run out of mortars, and we've run out of 
arrows, so we're going to be commanding the main host to engage. So I want you to go there, and we'll split off the rest and try to go through the gateway. So we're going to come through there. So, for Sigma! You should be running, you daff old bastards. So we've got some dismounted Reichguard, Dwarven warriors, fighting alongside us. Haroburg, great swords, and then loyal Empire swordsmen. Hold, hold fast. And here we go. Building captured gateway. And soon the end of them. Got a drum on him. <laughs> Not many more left, so let's start speeding things up. Once we finish with this, we will start the uh, the crusade. But like I said, I'm not really too sure how long this campaign is going to go for. These victory conditions are very strange, so it might be a shorter. But there's a lot of factions I would like to play on Call of Warhammer. You're most welcome to let me know in the comments what campaign you want me to play next. Doesn't necessarily have to be Call of Warhammer. It just has to be Total War, obviously. I think playing as the the green skins. The Orcs would be incredibly fun. Maybe even one of the Chaos factions, maybe Warriors of Corn or something. Up in the far northeast. Um, yeah. Let me know. Oh, that's finished off. Push into the town square, take it. Have they even got any men in there? A couple there. But a clear-cut victory. Enemy general has fallen. They did have a fair few generals in here, I forgot. Pretty big blow, and we've taken another settlement towards a victory condition. The scenings we've lost two already. Where is he? Carl Franz Le well leads another successful battle. Still seeking revenge. Well, not necessarily on the Chaos Factions, but the Greenskins did kill his son and his loyal friend, Kurt. He did declare war eternal, so... We don't necessarily have to go for the victory conditions. We can try, like, eliminate a faction, the Beastmen, or the, uh... <coughs> or the Greenskins. My voice is... A bit croaky at the moment, my apologies. One unit of cavalry left. Holding strong. Must be their faction leader. He's soaking up a lot of hit points. There we are. Yeah, I think it was. So, Emperor, Emperor, Empire, Emperor Karl Franz deployed 1,794 and lost 166 on the field. Count Peter deployed 720. You're most welcome to pause and have a look at the battle statistics. The mortars did most of the uh, work. Hunt, uh, 322, 52. 
Archers, 99 there. So, a solid effort. But only losing 120 men. That's <laughs> it's crazy. The Elves could be a quite cool faction as well, maybe. Okay, 1,000 now I'm going to execute. So, we've taken Middle Stag. We will occupy. We have been rewarded with four units of dismounted right guard at your capital. That is pretty cool. They can stay and defend or might even rally up with my other army here. So what are the odds for just like uh, taking this other army down? So we'll do a quick save. Three to one. Oh, we'll wait. We'll play that later. Right. Um... Let's send this army now. I wanted to wait one more turn, though, didn't I? So I can get these ogres and these empire mortars before I go on the crusade. Yeah. Sigma wills it. So it's in the turn. Well, two units of beastmen are spawned. Yeah, maybe you're not meant to, like, eliminate factions. Maybe you just need to sort of, like, defend. Because the enemy does spawn in a lot of units. Orcs at the gates. Orcs are nearing Castle Right Guard. The heresy has been suppressed. Does that mean new mission build a small church? Okay. Is there... So there are allies now. Okay, right, so... Because we killed their faction leader, the chaos has been suppressed. We'll upgrade the castle there. Okay, so they're being like reformed with us now. Interesting. I need to watch out for those beastmen yet. Okay, let's officially go on the crusade. I've been bloody saying this all episode to, to get it over and done with. Um, what can I take out? Probably those... Uh, maybe the dwarves. Even though I do like the diversity. No, we're probably just getting ready. Yeah, we'll just get rid of the stock standard swordsmen. Put the yogas and the mortars in. And this army, once we step out, will officially go on crusade. Success, 500 gold. And now, I wonder if there's any things we don't have. Oh, I was going to say what special units we could recruit, but there's actually none anyway. So, how far away is Castle Dragonhoof? Dragonhoof. Needed over there. A couple turns away. Okay, move those other units back in here. The ones I spawned with. Okay, we'll put this army, those halberdiers, back in there. We'll move these other swords. Oh, I probably should have left that up there because I'm probably about to leave here soon, aren't I? Never mind, I do have another unit here. I'm just going to have to hold. Until that unit goes in. Well, I guess I could move an archer unit back or this nine unit man here. Right. Um, that's interesting because my thing's changed. We currently control 11 regions. We need 10. We need to hold Camperbad for 24 turns. 31. There are orcs getting. Actually, I need to go down to Castle Reichland because there's been some orcs somewhere reports but uh regardless i'm going to end the video here thank you very much for watching like and subscribe if you haven't already follow me on my social media links if you want to stay connected to me facebook twitter and instagram in the description below as always if you want to play call of warhammer along with me the download links are in the description below but we're going to be continuing strong in the campaign we're going to be going on crusade once we're finished off with them we'll see how the threat of the orc invasion against Castle Reich Guard goes. But 31 turns, we need to hold 24 here. If we manage to hold them, we'll win the, uh, the campaign.
But, uh, yeah, I feel like this Call of Warhammer isn't really an empire building. It's sort of like a little bit of survival. Just for the amount of, like, the, these two units are spawned here. So, can you actually defeat factions, like, fully? Or do they just, like, sort of spawn additional stuff? But, yeah, I'm going to end the video... I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more content on SimC Total War. And, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.